And I think the, the characters you have in the back will level up with you. So in other words, I think. Um, if we get these guys up to a certain level, anybody that's in the background group will also go up to that level. Again, I think I'm not entirely certain. I'm pretty sure she was in level 6 before now. We'll keep these guys. Well, that's going to be it for tonight, so thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the videos. Comments, questions, leave them below, and if you have any... If you haven't done so already, we'd appreciate it if you'd subscribe to the channel. And I will see you next time where we will continue with uh, Crimson Echoes. And um, until then, this is Geo Will, and I will see you later. Hi, everyone. This is Geo Will from My Fan Production Squared, and we're back to continue our. Uh, Chrono Trigger Crimson Echoes Let's Play Walkthrough. So when we left off, we had, um... Just, um... Gotten back from... Uh, dealing with Magus' uh, story. Uh, from the beginning here. And we're now going to... Go take a trip to the Ocean Palace to see what the hell is going on. And, um... I was left to the Ocean Palace, and uh, some things will be revealed. So let's go ahead and uh, do it. Um, that's also maybe like a figure eight kind of thing or something. I don't know what the hell I'm doing. It's just like an interesting thing there. Infinity sign. Anyway, um, so in terms of the party, um. To be honest, bringing both Robo and Meryl along is kind of redundant in terms of healing because they both have area effect healing skills. <sighs> Actually, no. Together they have an area effect healing... No, it's not them. It's, um... I don't think they have any skills together. Uh, Robo, uh, Robo Karato and, and Meryl have that healing skill, but I don't think that... that Actually, no, they do. Here we go. Some, it's the same as um, Chronos with her. It's basically the same thing, so... Aura Whirl or Aura Beam. So it's kind of redundant to have... You know, you would have these two in the same group if you didn't have Chrono in it as well. Um, so I think we will switch out... Guess we can't do it from here. Um, we go to the save point. Should be able to exchange. Now let's go find Luka and bring her in the party. She's down in the second floor somewhere. Either way, you have to have Lucka in in place of... It's either in place of Chrono or in place of, um... Marl. That's what you can do with it. What you can do, you don't have to have Chrono. Though, I'd rather have him because... You know, he's basically the main character, so... Um... We don't really need Meryl so much, Marl so much as Lucka and Robo because they have a section together and it's crazy hard if they're not properly leveled. Same is said for Marl, but still, I don't know, whatever. I just tend to think this party works better for this section of the game. All right, let's go ahead and head over to the Ocean Palace and uh, see what's going on. No, Ocean Palace ruins. I like the music here. It kind of fits in with the busted up nature of the Ocean Palace. 
Um, right here you can use as a, a shop point. Which I suggest you buy some mid tonics and probably actually also some revives. I'll add in a couple shelters since we're low on those. That's most of our money, but still. There are a couple things um, you can find here. You can't find everything though, I don't think. Um, there's some stuff over this way. There's also some battles that you can fight. So I'll come over here first. So for the most part, battles are fairly easy in this one. Um, if you can do flame whirl, fire whirl on uh, all the targets and then hit them with like, say, dark gear. Um, that'll pretty much take out everything. These guys only have about 200, the Martellas only have about 200 HP. Okay, maybe not. I think I lied on that one. There, There is a skill you can use though that will kill them off pretty fast. I'm not sure, I think it might, might be Fire Tackle, I'm not sure. I know there is one. that doesn't kill him, we'll hit fl uh, Flame Toss well. Okay, that got him. A little more than I thought, but... Yeah, it's not too bad, you get a good amount of experience. Everybody leveled up, we got Fire Punch. Um, let me go ahead and use an Ether on Robo. Yeah. I think everybody else is fine. So, Jade Hilt, which is a weapon for Chrono. I'm gonna go and equip that now. So that's a 7 increase, which is good. Um, there's also some, uh, I think some good armor here. Um, you might also find an elixir, I think, eventually. I think there's one here. Just kind of see how busted up this place is. It's really messed up. So I think flame, uh, fire punch is the one that does the 200 damage. Or near it. So they're not quite high powered enough to take them all out. Um, earlier when I was doing this, I could take them out in one hit, so. I had actually leveled up further though. I was actually level seven, I think, or eight, by this point, before. Um, Cause I did some grinding on that, in that area, the bottom area, during the last um, thing in Chronopolis, which I didn't do this time. So that just kind of, you know, shows you a level or two will get you a little bit more damage for here. It's not that, really that big of a deal, though. These guys are not that tough to beat. That's kind of annoying. Because their beam attack can hit on a line, so it can hit multiple characters. So they get a good amount of experience and a good amount of tech points, too. Tech points, especially. If you fight 10 of these battles, you'll get 100 tech points. So. <clears throat> Looks like level-wise, Chrono and Robo will level up again, and uh, or Loco will level up again in one battle, and Robo in two. Um, in terms of tech, though, Spin Cut is 101 away. Uh, we just got Dark Gear set. Well, it's still pretty close, I guess. Napalm also about. So they'll probably get they'll get them all in about the same time. So um, what is it? Okay, two deceased. Um. Do slash. Actually, I probably should have slash on the back when it hits on a line, so it's kind of a waste of an attack there. Um, that doesn't hit everybody, so we'll do still crash and uh, flame toss. Now, to get closer, like they are now, we'll have Chrono use Cyclone on one of them. Yeah. Uh, 
Chrono leveled up. I'll need to use some items here to heal. Now we could use skills to heal, but it uses up MP, and we have less MP than we do everything else. Right now, MP is more valuable than items are, so... I don't see a reason to uh, use items right or use the uh, MP right now. As opposed to using items to more cost efficient. Aha, uh -huh. these guys are good. So we should be able to get 200 damage on them now with flame tackle or fire punch. That's all we should have to do. If not, then we'll do a cyclone too on top of that. But it should get them. Yeah. Well, except for one. So we're going to do a cyclone on one of them kind of lame, but... So, Robo will level up next time. You can't... This might be a chest you can open, I'm not sure. But if it is, you can't open it, so I'm not entirely sure what's up with it. Um, some other stuff up here to get. This is an armor, I believe. Flexiform. Um, pretty good. I usually give it to Luck at this point because she's like totally just messed up with the uh, defense. She usually has the lowest defense at this point. The Corona's not doing too well either, actually. I'll give him the Naughty Shell. The Naughty Shell. And I'll put him up with uh, Lucka there. Still has really low attack power though. And these guys are fun. These guys will dodge physical attacks. Really annoying. Um, fire whirl. Oh, they're too far away. Um, slash. Combo fire punch. That was it. Um, steel crash. Flame toss. Wow, it actually froze, didn't it? Damn. I think it was still crash. Damn, that sucks. Okay, I guess we will be rel <laughs> reloading here. That's, that's really... Ah, uh, nothing to describe that. Um, let's do a reset. Yes, I'm sure. Because that's hosed. Alright, let's see if I can get Lucka again. Damn. So maybe I won't use Still Crash now for the rest of the game. <laughs> to be honest, it, only, it has limited applications and that's just one of them to hit enemies on the line, but it's, you know, you don't need to use it. Man, that sucks. So that didn't ha- well, I didn't really use Still Crash all that much to be honest in the other one, so it might have been happening there too. And um, just in case I'm going to resave it so I don't have to do that again. Even though it's only like five seconds to go down there, it's still some time that things get rehashed. I don't need to rehear all this again. At least it wasn't too far in. I mean, it's only like ten minutes worth of re recording stuff, but still.
Um, Cyclone. What about Slash? Can we use Slash to hit all of them now? At least Cyclone then. And that might or might not kill them. Okay, yeah, I got him. No, oh, except for the deceased. We'll knock it out with a physical attack. Only had six life left, so. Fire punch. They both didn't survive. Or both did survive, I should say. Okay. Kind of wasteful, yeah. They can just attack them once each, but whatever. Alright, we got one of them. Chrono will take out the other. And they'll be good to go. These guys drop a lot of ethers too, so that's kind of, um, it's a good place to farm them. For later on, that's kind of wasted. Or powers, oh, I just wasted that power tab. Damn, power is useless for them. That's right. Don't do that. So you can kind of see the benefit of grinding in new locations, um, especially we didn't grind in the previous ones, is that you'll level up pretty quickly. And really, um, you should be grinding in certain places where it's more beneficial, like for example... Well, let's see what happens with this. Um, doing a bunch of grinding in the previous area with the Chronopolis thing would make it so that this would be a lot easier, but that's fine. We've got both of them at the same time. Um, some places you'll have to grind, like coming up in a little bit, <laughs> when, it, when we get back to the prehistoric age, um, you will have to grind there for a while to beat the boss of that area. Because it's uh, pretty tough. Alright, so I'm going to take the naughty shell off and put it on to Chrono. And then do not use steel whatever on these guys. So Robo leveled up.
Um, so MP, we need some ethers to use here. So, two of these guys, alright. Um, Fire Whirl. Along with a dark gear and maybe a few physical attacks. We'll do the trick. Don't believe there's a boss fight here. Anyone, anyway, one that we can win, that is. It's not, uh, not New Game Plus. Yeah, two. Two physical attacks and they'll be good. Uh, I think this one now will actually replace this. Oh, it's male only, right? So now Corona's better equipped. This was gonna just be inferior on Robo. I remember how somebody, it's like a issue there somewhere with a pathing issue. Uh, fire punch, damn. So the only problem here is that they dodge physical attacks, like you can see. The, like so. Like so. Um, so you have to use skills. Even physical skills will help them, but... And they also will heal themselves using your party members, like so. Since he's lower on health. Ah, come on. Hate these damned enemies. Alright, there we go. You can deal with physical attacks, it's just that you have to deal with misses occasionally. Let's do some healing. So I'm completely waste mid tonics, and then we'll use some waste some uh, mid ethers too. So why not? Or regular ethers too? Because why not? That's what we do around here. So 91. So again, basic thing: Chrono, then Lucka, then Ruba. Leveling pattern. Chrono will be first though, this time. Um, so yeah, I guess we'll fight the uh, panel and Martello here. Of course, panels also will dodge physical attacks occasionally. And once again, we gotta heal. Just look at this time now. What is up with Dark Gear? How much does that use? 6 MP, seriously? It's like huge this early in the game. It's 
So there's two panels here on each side. Your best bet's just to do physical attacks on him. Or maybe uh, some magic because the physical just don't hit that often. Right. Um, 